Is there math involved? The length of the takeoff. You know, like if it's a step down jump, you don't need as much speed. You look at the deck as like 100%. You take off, you probably want about 80, 75%. True tables where you're going to carry more speed or step ups. Then you get more in that one-to-one -one range. So maybe like a 60-foot jump has a 60-foot lip from like the flat bottom to the exit angle. If you cut like a quarter out of a, a circle, technically your board, yeah. as you went up that radius, you know, like it's the same radius the whole way. So it would feel less less pressure on your edges. You might feel the Gs more in the in the bottom of that transition because you're hauling ass before you start slowing down. Like if you drew like a, a big spiral tightening up as it kind of winds into itself and then taking a section out of that, that's kind of like, that's that consistently tightening radius. There's no point where it wraps quicker and then backs off. It's consistent the whole way through. You want the sweet spot to basically feel like there is no impact. Market Morris, like, um, I built so many jumps for him over the years and he, he would be like, just tell me I don't need an airbag if I have you building a jump because like if you land the sweet spot upside down, you just slide out and you, you go up and do it again.